So you made it past the Guardian Ape, but now this guy's talking about another ape that just messed him up. You run a little bit ahead, and sure enough, there's that big hairy bastard that you just killed. But this time, it's not just him. It's him and his ape girlfriend. And you just can't do it. You conquered one ape, but two? That's bullshit. How are we going to take on two apes? And that's what I'm here for. Welcome to the Get Good Guide for the Headless Ape. So before we jump into the fight, let's talk about the items this time around, because it's a little bit different from the original encounter we have with the Guardian Ape. First off, we're still going to be using the Loaded Spear, in particular the Drag Attack, to pull the Centipede out of the Headless Ape. In addition to that, you're still going to want Pacifying Agents to stop any Terra buildup. However, instead of using the Flame Vent, we're actually going to be working with the Firecrackers this time around, and if you have the Long Spark in particular, it is a very worthwhile upgrade to bring to this fight. The reason for this is this time since you're fighting two apes, they both have less posture and health than their single counterpart that you would have already taken down. To that extent, the firecracker will allow you to stun the ape, and then in conjunction with Akko's sugar, you'll be able to very quickly build up its posture bar and secure a posture kill, leaving you to only deal with the headless ape afterwards. Thankfully, the perilous attacks haven't changed up from the previous encounter. We still have the perilous sweep, which you can avoid by jumping on over it. We also still have the Perilous Jumping Sweep, where he'll jump up into the air and then attempt to sweep you, although this time he'll also follow this attack up with his heavy overhead, giving you an extra opportunity to stab that spear on into his neck and yank out the centipede. And of course, he still has his Terror Yell, which you can avoid by dodging backwards and holding the button down to run out of the range of it. So now that we've gone through everything that you can expect, let's take down these apes. Similar to the previous video, since this is a New Game Plus run, down, pinned in the comments below, I'll have a link to the walkthrough episode where the apes were killed on New Game with less health and less attack power. In addition to that, once again, I won't be going through all of my spirit emblems or using various upgrades like Living Force, which can make this fight significantly easier. Now, probably the best thing about this fight is even though it is going to be intimidating, one, the rewards are totally worth it since you get two prayer beads, a battle memory, and the final ninjutsu with Stole. But on top of that, it's actually a lot easier to get your posture kills on both the Headless Ape and the other ape this time around. One hit, R2, R2. You can see just that one spear hit and a couple of basic attacks, and his posture gauge is building up really fast. You can usually get your posture kill with uh, two, sometimes three spear hits on him. It's really going to depend how aggressive you're staying. As you can see there, we got a stagger. At this point, we really only need one more spear thrust, and we'll have it. Though we probably could have posture broken him there, it's always better to be safe rather than sorry. Now when the second phase starts, there's a couple different things you could do here. Namely, you could still kill that, the, the headless ape, you could focus on just taking him out, and if you do, it's going to make the other ape go away. Despite that, I think it's a lot easier to actually kill the lesser ape, and then focus on the headless, taking him down with the same strategy we just used for the first health bar. For this ape, you simply want to use firecrackers, and then get in front of it and just beat the head. You can see the kanji right there, which is why I jumped to avoid that, and you can see just one round of firecrackers, and we've already done a ton of posture damage to this ape. Make sure you keep the posture up. You can just run up and give it a quick whack every now and then. Just keep in mind that the firecrackers do have an internal timer of roughly 20 to 30 seconds. The last thing you want is almost what happened there, and that's getting caught in a corner. Now because you are fighting two apes in this fight, one thing I'd actually suggest doing that can help is just spend some time running around. Get a feel for the spacing of the apes. Get a feel for when you're going to have windows that you can go and attack the brown ape while the headless is busy doing his stuff. see just how much damage we're getting in here. You can still use the flame vent if you want here, but honestly, because you have to deal with the headless ape attacks, I find it a little bit easier this time around to use firecrackers, since they're going to be a straight up interruption as opposed to the flame vent, where we're looking to get damage and secure a health kill. With 
the second ape taken out. Now it's just a matter of deflex using your spear. With that, you've taken down the head of the Satan. Now last but not least, definitely make sure that you have the Mortal Blade available, because if you do, whip that bad boy on out and get rid of that centipede. You still get the, regard, the rewards regardless of if you sever the centipede or not, but it's extra style points, so you might as well. But with the second encounter with the Guardian Ape down, we are now ready to move on to the Corrupted Monk. So hopefully you guys killed him and got into the Get Good Club. Make sure to stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys soon with another Get Good Guide.